Hi, my name is Rylan Taylor. <laughs> Sometimes I'll find myself eating. I'll find myself. E I'll find myself eating a pint of ice cream at a 7-Eleven at like three o'clock in the morning and I won't even know how I got there. No, I mean, I know how I got there. I just mean like, like I probably got down one of those Instagram stalking spirals where I clicked like one too many of those like hashtag progress post and I ended up on like some bodybuilders page who can bench like 300 and has like Jesus abs like I mean you know that guy like the guy that grunts and groans a lot and like you can basically smell his cologne like through your phone like like that beefy bulky guy that all the girls like I mean that's what girls like right I digress. Um, but the thought is always like, why can't I be like that guy? And that's what sends me over the edge because it's like, I will never be that guy. But like, I don't want to be that guy. But when I'm in that spiral, I do. Because it's like, okay, ever since I was a kid, all I wanted to do was change everything about me. I wanted, I wanted lighter skin. I wanted a different face. I wanted a more chiseled body. Like all of these unattainable things. But the thing is, is perfect is easier to dream about than normal. But the truth is, I'll never be normal. Because here's here's what you don't see. I'm disfigured. So when I was 4, I was uh I was in this really terrible burn accident and both of my legs are really badly burned and um, they'll be that way for the rest of my life. And I always wear pants and socks so people don't see what's underneath. And I'm like forcing myself to live this really deep, dark secret that eats at me. Hence the eating. Learn that one in therapy. Like being a guy that struggles with body issues, it's really isolating. Like, it is so like, not cool to go up to another guy and be like, hey man, what's up? Do you struggle with emotional eating? Like, no way. And it's cool because there's this whole body positive movement going on and it is awesome, truly, but it's dominated by women and it's deserved. No, like 100%, but I feel really lonely. Like, Like, I'm here. Like, I can relate, but... I just, I, I feel like I'm not welcome because... I, I'm part of the problem. <laughs> because I'm part of the patriarchy. But I'm also a survivor of it because... I feel like I can't wear shorts or a bathing suit because I was the kid 
that all the guys made fun of and was shamed and tormented. So... It's hard to let anybody close. Because of it. So sometimes... I don't know, I just feel like I'm not fully living. Like I'm living like half of myself and I guess you can't really have deep relationships with people if you're not being 100% honest with them or with yourself. But I'm here now, I guess. Um, I'm trying to show all of me. And I really have, uh, I really have stopped trying to change. Because what I strive for now is just like the best quality of life that I can with, with what I've been given, like, functionality over form gratitude for what I have over what I don't and like I think that I think <laughs> that's a really great start and I'm looking for someone to eat ice cream with so love to know your preferred flavor 